वेलकम टू टेक डी आई वाई फ्रेंड्स इन टू डेज प्ले ग्राउंड सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू थिंग्स वन इज टाइम लीव कॉन्फिग्रेशन बेसिक टाइम लीव कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज यू नो डिसेबलिंग दिस वाइट लेवल एर पेज एज यू कैन सी इन माई करंट स्क्रीन वेर एन आई एम आई एम रनिंग one of the previously built application gradle application uh which is hitting to this rise controller and uh, currently it is showing this error message to me so let's get started so uh and for today's session what we are going to do is uh, we are going to refer this site pelding.com so the link of this uh, this particular tutorial will be available in the description description section okay with that let's get started so now now we are going to start so for this particular session what i'm going to do is uh, if you remember in previous session we have created we have cre uh, in previous session where we are we were trying uh, to remove the default tomcat uh, md tomcat uh, server web container and instead of that we try to uh, you know have the jetty in in our uh, uh, as a as a mdet server so you can refer that particular link uh, in our uh, previous videos you can find that so that's let's get started so first things first we need to add in build the build dot gradle first we need to add the dependencies for uh, time leaf so that we can do by simply clicking i'm just duplicating getting this particular line and i'm changing this to time life so it should uh, take that yep it has taken up and the dependencies are i mean the version is again since we are using 2.4.3 so we are keeping the same here and now what change you will observe uh, just as we have added this so you will find something called template once we will build so let's build this after adding the gradle we need, we should uh, we should run it so we are refreshing it let it build and once it builds we should get uh, under our source resources source resources we should get the templates folder templates folder is basically the folder where we will be keeping our html files and the other thing is since we are trying to do a ui application this time so we will be having a uh, few static pages which are most basic pages like hello world and two error pages that is for 14400 and 14500 4404 and 14500 so this templates folder will be added here and once it is added uh, we will try to you know create few uh, create few html files so with this i'm having i'm going to create a html file with name hello first of all so the title will be hello from gradle and same i will be printing in the body part uh most basic as i said h2 i'm using so under h2 i'm printing something like this and uh, here we will be having few error pages also so let's add them as well uh so i'm going to say error error.html so yeah so this is going to be our error.html and here i will be simply saying something like uh sorry for inconvenience v e n sorry for inconvenience we are we are looking into it into it 
so this message we are going to say them uh, this default message and uh, again this is a general page and if we want to have for 404 also 404 not found resource not found so we are going to say that error 404 why we are having them because we are going to add those paths in our uh, in our application basically when we add time leaf it is no more uh, it it will more 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 of a you know rest uh, in, instead of rest uh, rest uh, controller it will be mvc controller will be taken care of this so we will be converting our controller test controller to mvc controller and we are going to write uh, error controller also for that so that also we will see in the tutorial here so before that let's do what we are doing right now so we are saying sorry uh, we could not see what you are looking for okay so instead of 404 we will be simply saying this message uh, yeah so these pages we are having uh, let's uh, let's get started let's change the existing ones existing configurations first so as I said since uh, now uh, after adding time leave we are going to change it into an MVC application instead of uh, rest controller or rest controller so we are going to have that let's import the class so controller class is added here and now here we need to tell the HTML path to to which HTML it is going to map uh, I do remember the earlier times when we were when we used to code in spring MVC we need to uh, we need to take care, we, we need to take care of the mappings and all uh, but what time leaf provides is the mapping part which we need to take care of earlier uh, time leaf take care of us uh, take care uh, the JSP and view resolver part time leaf will take care of for us uh, so let's get started I mean let's check the other part uh, so we are going to write another uh, controller that is going to be I'm going to say it app error mm, app error controller so whenever we are going to have uh, something related to that we will be you know if if we if we are if we are coming to this path we will be simply showing the particular error message or error page redirecting to particular error page and uh, yep let's let me add the app error controller let's have the default constructor uh, so we are going to follow this so what it says it says about these configurations and all uh, custom error controller we need to write so something like this we need to do here so implements it says error controller and the package for error controller is all spring, uh, spring framework boot web servlet error error controller okay so with this error controller uh, there are some methods which we need to implement although that is now obsolete but it is mentioned so we need to implement that so we have added the implementation default implementation here and now next part is we need to have a handler method for this uh, we are going to say like get mapping and since we know the path is uh, slash error so whenever the path is slash error we are going to say public we are going to say something like this <coughs> uh, 
so here it says handle error so we we can say like uh handle handle error handle we are also going to say handle error and now we are going to have it http servlet request we need to have so we have added that now this is going to be a request so fine we need to have the body for this so body is again simple object status uh, in the status we are simply going to copy this get attributes so we are going to use this get attribute it says what it says it says about uh request dispatcher so request dispatcher dot error status code we are going to use as mentioned there and now we are going to check if the status object is still null or it's there let's do it like this so integer is going to be status code teacher dot value of we can do status dot to string we are going to do and now so this is the first thing we need to check if it is not null then we are going to check for particular uh, error types of errors let's suppose if it is uh, if it is bad request then it should be handled in certain way it, then a different page should be shown or if it is uh, not found exception then it should say not found exception since we are using uh, this http status is again since i think it's a jetty class so it is showing like this uh, we will see whether if whether this jetty one will work for us or not if it won't work we will uh, try to get the default one or the uh, or the one which will work here let's see so basically we are going to code if it is uh, if it if the request is not found then 404 st uh, status code is then we will be handling this and pointing uh, out to the other error page that is nothing but 404 so error 404 and in th this case it should be error 500 so this is what we are going to do and if it is uh, none of them then we should return something and that something is nothing but our default error page error page okay i think yeah so we have added this what it says uh, sorry we couldn't find the page you were looking for and uh, yeah and let's add uh, this also uh, in our all the error pages we will add one prop which is saying and we would be saying go home and the same thing we would be doing with for all the methods we are going to have it here also let us create a new file here we what we are going to do we are going to have everything here same 
itu. Sorry, something went wrong. At so. Okay. So we are going to say that here test controller app controller we have written and uh, yep i think we are good enough to test it So if everything is fine, custom error controller, we have written our custom error controller. We have to create a class that implements error controller interface and override get error path. Yeah, we, uh, we have done that. A custom path to call when an error occurred. Okay, uh, so that's, that's pretty much about it. Let's start the server. And uh, for this part, I'm going to start test it in the Chrome. So let's do. Let's uh, first try the basic one. Whether it's loading or not, we need to check. There is some problem, as always. There is some problem. Not a problem actually. We have to run this one and we have run the other one. So the server was not started, only the build was running. This happens when we run from here. So let's do, let's check. So spring is starting up. Let us see. Started. Jetty started. So let's see if now it works or not. Hippie. Hello from Gradle. Now let's check the white label error. 45. Let's say. So it should say. Sorry, we could not see what you are looking for. Go to home and it comes here. Hello from Gradle. Just to confirm what we are going to do in each error page, we are going to say, uh, okay. Let's suppose if I say API, sorry, we could not see what you are looking for. Go home, cradle. Thanks for watching guys, uh, like us, subscribe to our work and we will come again with some other playground session. Until then, bye bye and have a nice life.